Ultrasonics and magnification are uh, the ultimate weapons in calcified uh, canal cases. Uh, in molars, I would not do molars without those two uh, tools. Um, this is a very uh, calcified pulp chamber. We have uh, cal attached denical on attached denical. Um, you'll see here how the vibration from the ultrasonics uh, literally uh, pops them off the pulp chamber floor and the pulp chamber walls, lateral walls. Um, and uh, basically, I'm heading downward until I can see a, a uniformly gray uh, dentin material. That's the typical color that we see it of uh, pulp chamber floor. And uh, there's an explorer in the distal buccal canal. Distal buccal canal, very centered uh, in the tooth, very much under the central fossa uh, of the occlusal surface. The palatal canal, still uh, obliterated by calcification. Here comes the buck one Spartan tip, and I'm going to basically cut through it and around it. I know that's a pulp stone over the palatal orifice because the uh, darker gray pulp chamber material uh, ends right there, and we see a lighter colored material that is less organized and solid than the dentin around it. This is a great view of the pulp chamber floor. We do see an even gray color uh, in the mesial and uh, mesial palatal, and we see the different color of dentin on top of it. And that, the intersection there, is where we're going to find the MB2 because they curve almost 90 degrees sometimes as they come into the pulp chamber. So when we cut that back, we use a round instrument to make that trough. Um, that's the process.